Hey guys, I'm back with part 3 for this tutorial on how to build this apartment building. Here is this one, I'm going to be doing the interior layout for the 3rd and 4th floor. So I gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using for the 3rd floor. So be sure to grab some smooth quartz stairs, full blocks of smooth quartz, white concrete, iron trap doors, sea lanterns, light grey concrete, pillar quartz block, stone button, chiseled quartz block, spruce wood planks, quartz bricks, smooth quartz slabs, jungle wood planks, magenta concrete, and pink concrete. I'm going to start by doing the little hallway area first before you actually enter the apartment. So we have this space right here where the elevator is, so we have to do how we did it there. So I'm going to have the smooth quartz stairs facing straight up, lined up with the crown molding, upside down after that, and then the full blocks on top of that. Do the same on the other side. So up, upside down, and then full blocks after that. Now we're going to continue with the full blocks until we meet up with the edge of the wall here. So I'll just bring this straight across and then fill in all this space. And now let's fill in these walls. So grab the white concrete, bring this along until we meet up at the edge. Full blocks of the smooth quartz and then the white concrete again. I'm actually going to do this, just continue bringing it straight up. So I'll go ahead and do the fourth floor area as well. So there we go. Now I'm going to do the same on this side. So there we go, we have all that marked out. Now let's mark out the wall which divides this hallway and the apartment. So I'll look over here at the left first. I'll have the white concrete, the smooth quartz block, and then I'll just have another four layers of white concrete. And then we'll skip over these four spaces. Start on this fifth block and have the rest of this wall here. Alright, now we'll mark out the doorway. So grab your pillar quartz block, bring it up by four. We'll have the sideways one. And then we'll go on the other side and double it up. So we'll have the corner one there, sideways. Three straight up and down below the corners. We have to go on this side and fix these corners. Cover these up with stone buttons. And then have the two extra layers of white concrete above that door. Now make sure you have your light gray concrete. Just go one block higher than this wall here. And we'll fill in our ceilings. We'll bring this over until we're right up against this wall right there. And then let's go ahead and add the crown molding. So just smooth quartz stairs upside down along the top, right along the edge here. So just straight across and back around. Have the three sea lanterns here on the ceiling and then the iron trap doors. So we have all this marked out and now we'll head on into the layout here. So we're going to be doing the same layout up here as we did for the first apartment. The only difference is that we're using different floors and walls. So I'll start over here, I'll look at the entrance, and I'm going to be using the light grey concrete. So I'll just fill in these two spaces here. And just keep in mind, I'm here at the bottom layer of the doorway. I don't think I mentioned that for the first apartment. So just make sure the wall starts right here on the bottom of the doorway. Now, continue on towards the left of it and bring it over by an extra 8. And then, I'll go ahead and fill this wall in. And then I'll bring this over until we line up where that light grey concrete is. Like that, so we'll connect these together. So now this will end up being the living room, dining room, and kitchen area. So now I'm going to have an extra layer of light grey concrete on top of this. And then I'm going to have a layer of the full blocks of smooth quartz. 
And then I'll have three layers of white concrete after that. So there we go, we have these walls all marked out, looking good. Now I'm gonna head on over here to this side and do the walls for these bedrooms and that bathroom. And actually, this bedroom here, you can see down on the first floor, it goes right along here. But actually, for this apartment, I brought it in by an extra block, and then this one ended up going over by an extra block. So this room is one block over towards the right, so it's a little bit bigger. And then this one I brought in so it's a little bit smaller. The reason why is because I actually kind of turned this one into more of a kid's room. So I just made it a little bit smaller. And for the furniture we're going to be adding, it just worked out a little bit better. So, for this room, I'm going to look at the back wall. So we're just going to be right below the window. So we'll look here and have four like that. And then we'll go after the window and have another four. So for the first floor, you can see I actually brought it over by five, had the wall right here, but this one's just going to be in one block. So I'll bring this all the way along towards that wall, fill this in, and bring it back to where we started. So now you should be able to see one, two, three, four, five, and six spaces here. So that's how wide this bedroom is going to be. And then I'm going to have a layer of chiseled quartz on top of this white concrete. I'm actually going to do the same exact pattern that we just did here for this bedroom. So we have the white concrete just right up against there. Bring this all the way along. And then bring it in until we meet up at that wall. And then fill this in. And then have the layer of chiseled quartz. And now, let's fill in the floors for these rooms. So I'm going to be using the jungle wood planks and the light gray concrete. So we'll start with the light gray concrete. We'll fill in this smaller room. So it's like that. I'll just add a sea lantern. And then for this room, I'm going to be using the jungle wood planks. And then I'll add an extra light in here. So, this is like the master bedroom. And then this is more of a kid's bedroom. So we have that marked out. Now I'm going to do the walls here for this room first. So you can see we're going to be using the magenta concrete and the pink concrete. So it's more of like a girl's bedroom. So let's start with the magenta. What we want to make sure to do is just skip over each corner. So that the pattern stays consistent, we don't have any of the same color side by side. So, I'm going to skip over this corner, I'm going to make sure this is 4 blocks in height, and then we'll have the pink concrete, the magenta, the pink, just back and forth like that, until we meet up with this block here. So just continue bringing this along, make sure you also have the extra layers above the window, So we have that wall filled in like that. Now we're going to skip right over that corner. You can see we have the magenta right here. So we want to skip right to the pink concrete. And now you see we have magenta here. So skip over that corner, jump right into the pink. Once again, skip over that corner. We have the pink concrete here, so that means we have to have the magenta now. And then you can see the rest of it is pink. It all flows together nicely, worked out perfectly. So there's not like there's two rows of pink concrete side by side. It's all exactly as it should be. So it all looks good. But now let's fill in the walls here for this bedroom. So now for this bedroom, I'm going to be using light gray concrete for the rest of it. So just four layers on top of the chiseled quartz. Next up, I actually want to head on into the bathroom. You know what? We can't even really get in there yet. So I'll have to do the doorway first. 
But anyway, I guess we'll go ahead and now fill in the floors for the main entrance of the house, like the main part of the apartment. So I'm going to be using the spruce wood planks and the quartz bricks. And I did a little bit of like a rounded shape right here with the floors. So first what I'll do is grab the spruce wood planks and it's just gonna be five blocks wide. So one, two, three, four, five, like that for now. And I'll just bring this all the way along to the other side. Let me add an extra light. All right, so we'll leave it at that for now. And then we could go ahead and mark out the doorway. So we have one space here. So we'll go over, bring it up by four blocks in height. Make sure it's four blocks wide as well. So it's just a four by four. Delete the extra layer after that. And then we have to fill in a strip of light gray concrete for that half and the spruce wood planks for this half. And now to make it easier to then place our doorway. So we could just swap out these blocks. We're not using that anymore. So I have the four blocks in height. Two sideways ones will go on this side. We'll have the corner sideways straight up and down and then we'll fix these corners so there we go we have that marked out looking good and then for now i'll go ahead and just completely fill the rest of this in with the quartz bricks we will be extending out these wooden planks a little bit more and just shaping out a little corner here but for now i'm just going to fill this in and we'll make the adjustments here in a second All right, so for now, it's gonna be like this. I then wanna go ahead and mark out the doorway leading into this bedroom. So it's like that one, we just have one space here. So we're gonna carve out a four by four hole. So the wooden half will be the planks, this half will be the bricks. And then we'll go ahead and mark out the doorway. Let me add an extra light here. All right, and there we go. Now we have that doorway marked out, just like that one. And now we're gonna have the bathroom door here. So leave one space, carve out three spaces, make it four blocks in the height, and we have to fill in our floors. So first, right in between this wall, we'll have the quartz bricks. And then for the rest of the space, I'll go ahead and just use the Chiseled quartz blocks. I'll swap out the jungle planks. We're not using those anymore. And now for this bathroom, I'm just going to leave it simple. So I have white concrete and chiseled quartz for the walls. So first, let me mark out the doorway. So we'll just bring this up by four on each side. Have the sideways one at the top in the middle. Go on this side and double it up. Like that, cover these up with the stone buttons. Go on this side and fix these. Then cover them up. And now I'll go back here and fill in our walls. So like I said, I'm just gonna leave it simple with white concrete at the bottom. And then a layer of chiseled quartz. And then we'll have four additional layers of white concrete after that. So there we go, we have this bathroom marked out. I guess I'll go ahead and fill in the ceilings now. So have the light gray concrete, make sure you're one block higher than those walls and just fill all this in for the ceilings. And then I'll have the smooth quartz stairs upside down along the top for the crown molding. And then we'll have sea lanterns right down the middle like that, and cover them up with the iron trap doors. So now this bathroom is ready to be decorated, looking good. Now let's head on out, and what was I gonna do next? Oh yeah, I have to make the adjustments to these floors, but first I guess we'll go ahead and continue with the ceilings. So for this room, 
I'm going to be using white concrete as well as for that room. So we'll go ahead and fill this in just one block higher than the walls. So those rooms are marked out, and now for this big space, we're going to be using the light gray concrete. So now we have all that filled in. I'm just going to add the smooth quartz stairs all along the top to start off the crown molding. I'm going to be doing this in the bedrooms as well. All right, so we'll leave it at that for now. We'll be adding the extra detail here in a second. But first, I want to make the adjustments to the floors here. So I'm going to be using the spruce wood planks. You can see how this is already lined up at the edge of the doorway, so it's right where it should be. But you want to pay attention to how far out it goes. So we have the three spaces here. So you want to make sure to line up with this fourth block and then go in towards the quartz. Replace that with a spruce wood plank. And now go from the corner of that, so right here, and bring it out like that. And then go out one more time, and you want to work your way in by three towards that wall. And just fill this in with the spruce as well. So we have those two corners, and then three right there. And now you can work your way towards the left of that, replace all of this, fill it in. And now all of these other quartz bricks here on this side will be wood. So there's going to be a small dining room table right here. And then this will be the kitchen area. And then where all of the wood is, is more of the living room area. So there we go. Just had to make that adjustment. Now we just have to add all the detail in the ceiling. After that, we'll head on up to the fourth floor and do that final apartment. So for the ceiling, make sure to grab the smooth quartz slabs. For this big open space first, I'm just going to fill in each corner with a slab like this. And then I'm going to go pretty much right down the middle in this direction. So we'll be on the third space, or my bad, the fourth space right here. So we skip over these three blocks of light gray concrete. So we're lined up at the fourth one. And then just have a strip of the slabs like that we'll do the same on this side so we're lined up at this fourth block have another strip and then we'll go in each corner of that and have another slab and that's about it for the detail here for the open space for this apartment we just have to add some extra light now so i'm gonna have how should i do it should i just maybe carve out a space there and there Fill it in with a sea lantern. Do the same on this side. Alright. And then I'll fill in the corners as well. I'll just do it right above where these slabs are. And I think that... Yeah, that should be enough light. Let me delete these. We will be adding more light once we do the furnishings. But for now, for the actual light in the ceiling, I think that'll be good. All right, so that looks good. We'll head on in here, and I'm just going to have a beam right down the middle. So it'll be, oh, hang on, let me grab it. Full block of smooth quartz right there. We'll do the same lined up on the other side. We'll have a stair, slab underneath the full block, and then two slabs right down the middle. Actually, right above these, I'll have the sea lanterns, and then we'll add the slabs back. Delete that, and then I'll go in each corner, right above these stairs, and fill that in with the sea lantern as well. So there we go, we have that room done, and now we have this room. I just had a beam right down the middle, so I'm just going to have full blocks like this. And then I'll have a slab underneath, and you know what? That is it. And now I'm going to just add a sea lantern in each corner, just like how we did that other room. Alright, and for now, this room will be good. 
So it'll be left like this for now. It is ready to be furnished. So now I head on up to the fourth floor and do this next. So first, let's just make the adjustments here. So we have the stairs facing up and then upside down and then the full blocks on top of that. Do the same on this side. Whoops, hold up. There we go. And then we'll have the full blocks of smooth quartz up until the edge of the wall there. Bring it right along to the other side, fill it all in. And then we have to do the wall right along here. So it's just going to be the same pattern that we already got. So let me grab that. So, uh, white concrete here, quartz, and then the rest of it, white concrete all the way up to the top is fine. And then we'll skip over four spaces, so we're on the fifth block, have the rest of the wall here. So that's good. Now let me mark out the doorway. And then we'll have the light gray concrete. So just right here, right below all that quartz that we have for the roof of the building. Bring that up against there, just like we've done everywhere else. And then we'll have the crown molding. So let me grab that upside down stairs all along the top here. And then we have the sea lanterns. And I'll grab the trap doors, cover those up. So how's this looking so far? All right, now we just have to add an extra layer of light gray concrete for the top of the elevator area. And then we'll have smooth quartz stairs right there. Do the same on this side. And then we'll have the stairs again. And there we go. So now all of the hallways are exactly as they should be. So now let me head on up here and we'll start doing the layout for this apartment. So I gathered up all the blocks we're using here for this apartment. So be sure to grab the dark oak wood planks, the quartz bricks, deep slate bricks, spruce wood planks, white concrete, chiseled quartz blocks, light gray concrete, pillar quartz blocks, green concrete, stone buttons, Smooth quartz slabs, smooth quartz stairs, iron trap doors, and sea lanterns. So I'll be looking more towards the entrance first and we'll fill in this wall. So we're going to be using two layers of white concrete, then a layer of chiseled quartz, and then three layers of light gray concrete. So we'll start with the white. We'll just have the two layers there. And then we'll bring a layer all the way from one side to the other for this wall. Do the extra layer on top of that. And then we'll have a layer of chiseled quartz on top of the white concrete. And then we'll have three layers of light gray after the chiseled quartz. So it's like that. We'll go right above this doorway, add the extra layers of light gray. We'll have white concrete here, chiseled quartz, and then light gray. So for now, this is what it's looking like. And then we're going to fill in this wall until we are two spaces after the edge of the window. So we'll have the white concrete. So we'll look at that second window until we're on the second block after it. Just like that. We'll have an extra layer of white concrete on top. Chiseled quartz after that. And then three layers of light gray. Now... I'm going to bring this wall over here. Let me actually, so we have this wall. I'm going to line it up, like bring this wall over until it's lined up. So right there, fill all this in. Now I actually want to bring this part of the wall out until we're seven spaces away from that one. So this is the wall where the entrance is. So real quick, I'm just going to use some spruce wood planks and just place seven right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now I'll bring this wall out with the white concrete first. 
until we meet up with that wood. And now we'll be left with seven spaces right here because we're gonna have a little bit more of a hallway here and then there's gonna be a doorway leading into that bedroom and a doorway leading into the bathroom. And then this wall is here to divide that bedroom and the kitchen that'll be here. So we'll fill this in with the rest of the pattern. So once again, just seven spaces in between that wall and that wall. Now let's continue pushing this part of the wall back in that direction. So we're going to have the white concrete. We'll just add an extra two right there. Just continue the pattern. And then we're going to have the doorway here. We can't really place it yet. So what I'm going to do is just place four blocks of the spruce wood planks. And then we'll have another two white concrete there for the rest of the wall. Bring this up. So where this space of four is, is going to be the doorway leading into that bedroom. But we have three spaces that we see here. We skipped over four and then we have two right there. Now, we just want to continue on with the further block here. And just bring this over by three. Bring this up. All right. And then we're going to have a doorway leading into the bathroom here. So it's just going to be three blocks wide. So I'll just have some more spruce wood planks. Then go towards the right of it. And we'll fill in the other two spaces there. Bring this all the way up. And then we can connect that wall into that one. Now I'm actually going to start marking out the floors here and for the kitchen dining room area. So I'm gonna go right up against the wall here with the quartz bricks, just bring a strip right along from one side to the other and then fill all this other space in. So I have all that filled in and now let's do the living room area and this hallway. So we're gonna be using the dark oak wood planks just fill all this other space in within the walls we just marked out. All right, let me add some sea lanterns. Now we could delete these and we'll actually go ahead and bring in the wood right in between this opening for both of these. All right, and now we could actually mark out the doorway. And then grab your light gray concrete and add the extra two layers above the doorway. So, we have the kitchen dining room area marked out. This is going to be a living room slash hallway area. And then this will be a bathroom. And this will be a bedroom. So go ahead and mark these out next. So I'm going to start here in the bathroom. Make sure you have the deep slate bricks. And I'm going to look at the back wall. I'll just go right here. I'll bring over the deep slate bricks until we're on the edge of the window. And now after that, bring it over by an extra five. Like that. And then we'll bring this in until we line up with that doorway. And then fill this in. And then all of the rest of it. So this will be the floors here for this bathroom. And then we have the floors here for this bedroom, which will end up being spruce wood planks. So we'll fill all of this in. So now we have the floors for the bedroom and the bathroom marked out. Now we just have to do the walls. So here for this bathroom, I'm just going to be using pillar quartz blocks. I'm going to have two layers facing straight up and down. So you can just follow along the edge of the floors that we placed in here. Now I'm going to have a layer of chiseled quartz on top of it. And then I'll go ahead and use, I'll use light gray concrete. So an extra three layers of light gray concrete after that. So we have that bathroom marked out. Looks good. We'll head on out into this bedroom. 
and I had the green concrete. I'll go ahead and use the white as well and the chiseled quartz. So I'll start with the white concrete. I'll have two layers. So I'll just bring this all the way around. Like that, all along the edge, I'll have another layer. Let me add a sea lantern. There we go. So two layers of white concrete, then we'll have a layer of chiseled quartz, and then three layers of green concrete. So that's all good. Everything's all marked out. Now we just have to do the ceilings. So I'll head on here into the bathroom. I'm going to be using white concrete. So I'll go ahead and fill this in. So there we go. That's marked out. And let me see. You know what? Every other room is going to be white concrete as well. So we have this bedroom and then that main room out there. All right, so it's all filled in. Now I'm gonna go through every room with the smooth quartz stairs. I'll also be using the smooth quartz slabs. I think that's about it for this uh, apartment. So I'll start with the smooth quartz stairs and just add the crown molding for each room. And then we'll do the detail after. So I have this main room all done, looking like that so far. Do the same thing for this bathroom. And while I'm in here, I might as well do the lights. Since the crumb molding in here is going to be left exactly as it is. So I have sea lanterns there and there. Cover them up with the iron trap doors. And now this bathroom is ready to go. Go into here, do the crown molding. And let's see, what kind of detail should we add in here? Probably just leave it simple. Yeah, maybe we could just have two beams like that with the slabs. Like that. And I'll just leave it as it is. And then let me grab the sea lanterns. Put these above the slabs. Cover them up. And then... Should I actually add a little extra in each corner like this? So I have the sea lantern like that. And then I'll wrap around the stairs and they'll cover up those sea lanterns with the slabs so how's that looking yeah i like it get rid of that so there we go this room is done and now here so i'll go ahead and look at this corner we have these two spaces i'll have the slabs on this third space so we just have the two corners still remaining we'll do the same on this side and then I'll have another strip right, right here. So how's that looking? Yeah, I'll go ahead and actually just leave it as it is. Or should I have another row? You know what? I'll have another row right down the middle, right here. There we go. That looks good. Let's go ahead and just add the sea lantern. So I'll have one there, one in each corner like where these connect and I'll have another one here let me get rid of these and I think that is pretty good we could have another one here in this corner another one over here let's cover all this up okay and you know what I'm going to leave it at that. So now we did the entire exterior for this apartment building and we just did the entire interior layout. So now all there's left to do are the furnishings. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it at that here for part 3 for this tutorial on how to build this apartment building. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 4.